everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm Gabriella, and recently weighted blankets have been trending. And whether you want to buy or DIY, we have a couple options for you. So here's how to DIY a weighted blanket to make for a way cozier night's sleep. The first step is to fill bags with rice to create the weighted part of the blanket. We recommend using heavy duty freezer bags so they stay secure. Weighted blankets should equal about 10% of your body weight to have the calming, sleep-inducing effects they're known for. Calculate that and you'll know how much rice to use. Divide the rice among 24 bags and seal them up. Next, shake the rice to the center of the bag and tape together a 4x6 grid. you want to make sure they're evenly spaced. Fold the tape around the edges of the outer bags. It definitely helps to have a second pair of hands for this step. Flip the bags and again, tape them together and fold the edges. Add 10 inches to the length and width of the bags. This is how much fleece fabric you'll need for each side of the blanket. Covering the top and bottom with the fabric, leave four inches around the edges and pin down one side of the fabric together. Roll the other side back and carefully hand stitch a knot at every intersection. It's important to sew the tape and bag seams versus through the centers of the bags. Next, Cut a 4 inch square on every corner and make guide points to cut 1 inch strips. If you've ever made a fleece blanket, this next part will look familiar. The great thing about using fleece fabric is that it doesn't fray, making this almost no sew. Double knot the strips together all along the edges of the blanket. It's best if you have a friend to help. And there you go, a cozy weighted blanket. Okay, so DIYing is not for everyone. I get it. So if you'd rather buy than DIY, we have a couple options for you. Way back, before we were all working from home and social distancing, some of us blind tested two weighted blankets. Here's what we found. Blanket A. Blanket A. Wow. Oh, this is incredibly pleasant. Who knew? I feel like I'm getting a hug, kind of. Blanket's making me a little tired. <laughs> it's actually lighter than I thought it would be, and I don't think I would want something heavier than this. The fabric almost feels like it's cooling a little, too. I thought it would be hot, but it's not hot. It's a good, like, soft texture. Ooh, wee, Blanket B. Okay, see, this feels like a workout. Yeah, this one feels thicker. <laughs> I like this one better than I like the first one. The fabric is not as pleasant to touch. This blanket feels warmer than blanket A. It's kind of fluffier and it's more, it feels more like a comforter. I feel kind of like a, like a burrito right now. Which is the more expensive blanket? Blanket A or blanket B? My final answer, I'm gonna go with blanket A. I think this one um, is the most expensive. Looking at this fabric, I can tell that this one is the most expensive one. The fabric just feels a lot smoother, so yeah, I'd say that I would go with Blanket A. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know which blanket's which. Okay, okay. Blanket A is more expensive than Blanket B. No way! This is the more expensive blanket. <gasps> Really? I would go with Blanket B because I think it still gets the job done. I wouldn't mind spending a little bit extra for the, that softer material. Even at the price point, like I would rather just splurge. If like I knew it worked, I would still invest in that. I'm just gonna take this. So, would you buy or DIY? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.